Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about infolets in Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. So let's understand what is this infolet. So infolet is a technical component which is viewable from the Springboard. Not only in Springboard, in a couple of places also you can observe that. And what does it provide? So it's like a component which provides the information and it all it also has a linkages to a different set of reports and generally we have summary report detailed report which are linked to this particular infolet and it can be customized and also you can enable it disable it hidden it also okay and again the properties dependent on the location where they are available okay let's understand that so these are the couple of infolets this is how it is viewable in the springboard section in the analytics section in the analytics section of the springboard and here, if you observe, this infolets has these set of views. We call it as expanded view, collapsed view, back view, front view, as well as detail view. So again, availability of any of the view depends upon how it was designed. So the by default, the view which you just see the default one, and you know, like a, when you have a expanded view, it shows the information, the larger content, and collapsed view is nothing but a smaller one. Back view is like when you click on that, it shows the another portion of that back side of the view. And a detailed view, it shows a detailed kind of report. Okay. So now, so when you open this Fusion application, this is how it observes, this is how you can see it. And when you just click on this infolet, it shows a couple of properties like a, you can click on on the top this particular icon. And you can see the option like edit title and views. And you also have an option called hide. And then if you observe carefully, and when you just click on this particular one, it shows in the like uh, the same particular one when you see in a sandbox mode. So here, if you observe, this is a default mode where you just have only edit title and views and hide. That's it. But when you just open the same particular infolet in the sandbox mode, like uh, well, let us I'll just create a, assume that you have created a a sandbox like a, a page composer tool sandbox, and you can observe when you click on this infolet, it shows this particular set of properties like edit detail report, edit content, edit title and views. You can see all the properties, and also one more very interesting thing is we can also observe the path of the report. Like here, if you observe, and for this particular front view, the report path is this one, and for the back view, this is a report path. For every view, it is linked to a particular path, and if you observe the normal mode, you don't find the report path. It just shows the front view and enable or no. enable yes or no that's it no other thing it will show okay so this is the standard functionality which is available in the fusion now let us understand how do you add a custom info like so same thing like uh, just open the page in the sandbox mode and we require a page composer tool in the sandbox and you'll be seeing this particular kind of icon the small a triangle kind of icon once you click on that it just shows a pop-up scroll down the bottom you should be able to see the information called create infolet once you click on create infolet it shows a new page wherein you can mention the details like the infolet title the front view size back view size back view and expanded view and then once you mention that what you have to do is you just need to click on that particular infolet and you just you just need to click on this particular symbol here if you observe once this is added it shows this particular infolet like this the blank area you just need to click on add content once you click on add content it shows the navigation of your report and analytics select the report where you have your report and that's it so like in our example this is how you know like this is how uh, infolet look, it is looking like okay now let's go back to the fusion instance and let's try to add infolet now so now here what i'll try to do is first of all i'll come out of the sandbox mode so we'll understand what i'm talking about so I'll, let's say i'll click on leave sandbox and in the home page click on the me so here just click on the me yes now you should be able to see the standard set of analytics of general ledger and this is how it looks like this is a couple of standard infolets and you just click on this icon it shows edit title and views and hit height that's it and if you just click on the bottom if at all it has any if you observe right it is there is no arrow here but for this one it has an arrow so here for the first and second you don't see any arrow but for the third one which we are able to see the arrow when you click on this one it shows the back view and when you click on this particular another in double arrow it shows the expanded view okay so it all depends upon how it was defined and you can click on collapse view and maybe you can try this one it shows expanded view collapse view collapse view now right so this how it works now so here if you observe this particular icon it shows the infolet repository nothing but the list of infolets which are available in this page and 
we can also observe that so this create infolet will not be available in the normal default mode it just shows the list of infolets which are available the reorder it is available you can check it and uncheck it but you don't find any create infolet functionality available here so what i'll do is i'll just try to open the page in the sandbox mode i'll just click on edit page and then it will ask you to activate a sandbox i'll just click on activate a sandbox it will navigate to the sandbox page you can create a new one or you can use an existing one if at all if you want to create uh, if at all if you already have a sandbox so in my case i already have a sandbox which i just created just now and the tool which i selected was only page composer okay just click on enter sandbox if you don't have sandbox simply click on create sandbox with the page composer tool and then click on home page and now we'll just go back here we'll click on the me yeah and now observe the difference click on this particular icon and scroll down and we should be able to see the create infolet as of now still it is not available right so the reason is we have to enter the sandbox mode right we have to enter the page composer mode so we added a sandbox but you have to enter the tool so click on tool and then click on page composer now we should be able to see the yeah so now it is in the page composer tool enable and now just click on this particular icon again scroll down yeah let me try again Click on this icon. Yeah, now it's showing an option called create infolet. Click on this create infolet. Now mention the infolet title. I'll just say exits infolet and I'll just go with the front view one by one. Let's say I would like to have back view and also I would like to have a expanded view. Okay, now click on save and close. Once you click on save and close, it shows an option now. So XX infolet and now it is asking add content. Click on add content. I already have a couple of sample reports which I have designed for the this sample, this infolet purpose. Now click on add content and here you just click on open. Now it is navigating to the BI repository. So you can click on BI presentation server. I have my reports in the custom folder or trainings. So I'll I need to navigate to that particular location. Custom folder, shared folder, and then yeah, shared folder, custom. Then again, I will be navigating to Mura trainings. Yeah, click here. Now I'll just select a supplier info let. Okay. So it got added up now. Okay. And just click on close. And now what I'll do is I'll just click on back view. And now for the back view, also we have to do the same process. Let's say click on add content. I'll just add one more content called AP invoice content in the back view. Okay, so this is how it works. And in the expanded view, click on expanded view. Click on add content. I'll just add this one, AP invoice info detail report in the expanded view. And now click on close. So this is a de de detailed one. So now let's say click on collapse view. And if at all, if you observe the size is not showing properly, just click on this icon and click on edit title and views. And maybe you can just expand it. Let us say the invoice count was not showing properly. Let's say I'll just increase the size, right? So now this one, let us say I'll just go with one by one only. And yeah, dimensions, I'll just go with two by two. Yeah, this should be fine. And let us say if the chart is still not visible, right? Let's try two by three. Okay. So 
so this is how you know like you can try or else you have to just check the report and you know try to modify it okay so that you have to adjust it based on the otp design which you design which you work on it you have to adjust it accordingly so now the basic functionality what we add try to do is like uh, we just saw how do we add an infolet from the otb and also if at all if you want to delete this one right you can simply click on the option and you can hide it delete it and you can that's how you know like you can simply delete it from this one or you can also hide it from this particular location and if at all if you want to move to the new instance right you have to perform the same operation and also it is not that every place you can add up this functionality may not be available in all the pages you have to always find out when you click on this catalog repository does it show add icon or not does it show add from create infolet option for you or not if it does not show the create infolet option then there is no way you can add it up okay it's all about adding infolet in oracle fusion apps thank you